was going to say one lick to, to make you sound like Eric Johnson, um, but the internet is absolutely full of guys showing you, you know, far more advanced versions of the... Phrases it, but Eric Johnson is fantastic. Just when you thought the five note minor scale was getting a tad boring, along came Eric and revolutionised it, made it sound like something <coughs> you'd, you'd, you'd never heard before. Um, as I said, lots of people will do a far more advanced version of that five note, right, which is very, very straightforward. It's just that he plays it brilliantly. Um, the one I like for Eric Johnson is. Which is, the way I like to think of this is, is if you're in E, come off a C sharp position but play minor. Like that. Even when you're, you know, when you're trying to play like Eric Johnson, you play make lots of mistakes. Um, that's what I was trying to play. That, that one, right? Um, so if we're in, in A, E, we're kind of in a C sharp position, and we play uh, B to D, and we play E to D. So that's three, three frets apart, and then two frets. And we end on a... And we end on that fifth note, right? Um, you know, that's kind of like an Eric Johnson type phrase. Uh, you know, it skips the strings. You know, these kind of phrases, right? Um, that one is uh, which is A to E and then B C D. Um, so that's the second half. That's better. Right. <laughs> Come off the G, G to D. Get right, David. That's the first climb. Second climb is A to, to E. B, C, D. Fit right into you know the start of cluster door, right? But the lick <coughs> that I'm going to show you that I absolutely love it's my favourite. Um, what is it? My favourite? I always say when push, you know, because what's, what's your favourite Eric Johnson thing? I always say it's three. There's a uh, minstrel jiggle with Christopher Cross, the old harmonics, it's a fantastic solo. Um, that is the end of Bristol Shore, you know, he goes. Ends on that high, uh, that catches, catches that harmonic, yeah. and it's so emotive, you know, when he plays it. But my favourite lick comes from Distant Star, uh, which is ironically, again, two out of the three are not Eric Johnson songs. You know, one's by, by written, written by Eric, but it's on a Steve Morse album, and one's a Christopher Cross song. Um, and the one on the Steve Morse album, Stand Up, after Steve Morse's incredible solo, Eric comes in with a... Which, you know, I would hope would demonstrate that even when you're like the most technically gifted player that's ever been, you can still just play in the pocket, you can still just play a melody. That's all off an E major scale. Going up to the tonic. And it gives it a little bit of juice. Right? Then it goes back to the uh, B note. And this time we've kind of got an E, we've kind of got a, a sort of Dorian. And then it's right before. 
Freddy Fruit plays that one, right? So we'll break that down. Any, well, obviously you can play it in E. That would be an A. But let's go back to E. We start on our, our B. We'll get B, A flat. Back to B. C sharp. B. E flat A. Then the super funky. That's anchor on the B and bend the C sharp. A to B. Now that is my favourite Eric Johnson lick, and there are, there are hundreds um, of all time. I absolutely love it, and, and I promise you. If you play that in a song, someone's going to go, oh man, Eric Johnson, because, you know, he, he did rewrite the book. So, one last time. So, one like to make you sound like Eric Johnson.